Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze what is going on on the Bitcoin price right now because we have seen a very nice pump here towards $11,400 overnight and we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price comparing to the DXY and also have a look where the CME closed yesterday. All right, my friends, so before we start, a reminder, there is a trading competition going on on Femex and down below here in the video description, you will find my link to my trading team over on Femex. So if you're trading on Femex, then definitely make sure to join my team because if you are in a team here, you can uh, gain even more money, especially if you're trading anyways over on Femex. During the event, you will get some bonuses and also you will pay less trading fees and so on. You just need a minimum balance of 0 0.02 Bitcoin. That's not a lot. So if you want to trade with leverage or if you anyway are trading with the leverage Bitcoin and other assets right now, there is this event going on where you can win up to 100 Bitcoin here. So definitely go and sign up to this event if you are interested. And now let's start here with the content because Bitcoin here in the one hour time frame, of course, is respecting here this 20 moving average. This is also what I told you in my last couple of videos that on an uptrend, watch out for the 20 moving average in the one hour and four hour time frame because usually they are always keeping up with the support and currently we are having a nice healthy support here on this moving average and overnight we have seen this nice rise up here the problem is here only that the CME is closed before we had this uh, pump so the CME is closed here at $11,100 so in my opinion wherever we are going during the weekend we will most likely retrace back to where we close the CMEs or we're gonna have a new big CME gap and the, right now the price is approximately $300 above the close of the CMEs and that doesn't mean of course that we have to go straight back down I still think there is still room left to the upside so we will most likely see continuation to the upside especially since we are breaking out from this important resistance here of around $11,000 of course, the lower time frames right now are looking a bit that we should see a little correction here, especially in the one hour. We are having some bearish divergences and also we are very overbought here. So a little pullback is very likely. And in that case, I think we will not maybe come only down here to $11,200, but most likely also retest here this area here, which now should be new support at exactly $11,000. And if we have a look into the DXY, you can see that yesterday we had here a drop from our support. And I told you if we're gonna lose here the support of 9360, this blue trend line, then we're gonna see a big sell off here in the DXY. And this is just the beginning. We have a lot of room left to the downside, even though in the one hour we have exactly the opposite. It looks like that we are extremely oversold and we should see a pullback to the upside here. But this is only in the one hour time frame. So this little pullback back to the upside could be really short-lived before we continue here the sell-off because we have now a lot of room left to the downside and this is also what we are seeing in the bigger time frames later and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that after we're shooting it to the upside overnight currently we are retracing back to the middle line and here we should expect between $11,360 and $11,200 another big leg to the upside. KST MACD is still shifted to the upside although Stochastic is looking like it's gearing up for another move to the upside so in my opinion we will most likely test $11,500 to maybe even $12,000 within this weekend or at least next week if we continue to trade like this and if we go over into the four hour you can see that currently the 20 moving average is coming up here at our main support now of around $11,000 so in theory even though we could see a little pullback or maybe on Monday a retracement back to where we close the CMEs here at around $11,000 here we should expect another bounce to the upside the four hour is also looking a bit toppy in my opinion we have a very overbought RSI here I don't got the sell signal right now but as soon as this is coming I'm expecting a possible pullback down to $11,000 and there most likely have another 
big bounce to the upside especially if the dxy continues to fall because also here in the four hour you can see that the dxy is breaking down below all the moving averages so we also lost here this 200 moving average and the next support in my opinion could be down here at around 92.80 but if also this support here will not hold then most likely we will come down here towards this 91 dollar and of course this will lead into a big push to the upside in the bitcoin price the four hour here is also very oversold and also here i'm waiting for a buy signal but also here like in the one hour time frame if we're gonna see a bounce to the upside it's most likely gonna be just a short-lived one and now let's go back to the Bitcoin price and open up the Bollinger Band because here we are still overshooting it to the upside. We are right at the top here. So it is possible that we come down here to have a correction down to 11,140, maybe even down towards 11,000 before we're gearing up for another leg to the upside. We have KST, MACD all shifted to the upside. Stochastic is in overbought condition as you can see here, but we can stay in this region for a very long time before we are cooling off here. But as you can see here, the lower time frame frames are looking like that we could see a possible pullback but probably because it's weekend we're gonna see some continuation to the upside and maybe on Monday have this little pullback but let's see what the weekend will bring volatility is back my friends so this is the perfect condition if you're trading with leverage for example on Bybit or Femex this is the best thing that can happen when volatility is coming back because like this you can win the most and also with small amounts you can make nice gains here if you go for example 10x or 25x within a trade and remember if you want to open up an account on one of these exchanges you find all the recommended exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you will get some rewards and also you support the channel of course and now let's open up the daily time frame here because here very very important we are now currently trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average and important is that we're gonna keep up with this support so even though we could see a pullback important is that we're not gonna close daily candles again below $10,850 if we're gonna retrace completely back down and we're gonna have a big sell-off then this is still my target to be reached here the 200 daily moving average which currently is right at 9600 dollar but as you can see here the daily is looking very bullish we are trading above all the moving averages also the RSI is coming up here and we still are not in overbought condition so we have a lot of room left to the upside and since we are breaking out here from the structure that we were in here in the last couple of weeks I think it's very likely that we will go up here to retest this area here of around 12,000 and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside but also here even though we could have a pullback towards 10.8 we are clearly shifted to the upside right now we have KSC and MACD back shifted to the upside also stochastic here we are getting into overbought condition but as I told you here we also can stay for a very long time in this region and if we have a look into the DXY here we have exactly the opposite here currently we are dropping below the 20 and 50 daily moving average and as you can see also here my target is here to reach uh, probably this 91 dollar to create this lower low which of course is bearish because the DXY is still in a bear market we are trading below all the moving averages and the 200 is right here at 97 dollar. RSI is also falling off the cliff here and we have a lot of room left to the downside here although you see my own indicator after getting here a sell signal we just started to sell off here and we still have a lot of room left to the downside and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and have a look at the weekly time frame because here we bounce successfully from the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at $10,300 very bullish RSI above the 50 level as I told you many times my friends the weekly is still the most important time frame and here we are looking way more bullish than in any other time frame and the weekly is the most important one and what is going to be very important for this weekly candle is if we are able to close here above this moving average so above $11,000 then I think it's almost guaranteed that we will go up here to test the top of the Bollinger Band which currently is at $12,300 so if this weekly candle is closing above $11,000 we should be good to go towards $12,200 and if here also we are breaking out to the upside if we are not getting rejected here at around $12,000 we will enter the next parabolic stage of Bitcoin because in that 
case, I think it's almost guaranteed that we will go at least towards 14 to 16 thousand dollars at least within the next couple of weeks because this is really the last step before another big parabolic run to the upside. We have MACD and KSD which is flattening out here again. We had previously a bearish cross but currently they are getting flat again. So let's see if we can sustain with this pump that we have seen here over $11,000. We have stochastic and oversold condition so in theory we have a lot of room left to the upside. So the weekly is really really looking very bullish here and if we go over into the DXY here of course we have exactly the opposite here we are trading below all the moving averages and I think it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen once the 50 weekly is crossing the 200 weekly moving average because in that case we will have a confirmed death cross here in the DXY and this will lead into a major sell-off even more here in the DXY and of course this is very bullish for the Bitcoin price and overall also for the stock market. So the conclusion is is that with this pump we could be at the beginning of a major run to the upside here in the Bitcoin price because after this cool off that we had here down to the 20 weekly moving average we have now all the indicators cooled off and created a nice base here for another big parabolic run to the upside so let's see what will happen here this weekend and also next week this is going to be very important i think the whole month of october will be very important and we will see a lot of volatility coming back in here so make sure that you can handle anywhere we are going right now if we are starting to moon make sure that you have already your hodl portfolio ready so you don't have to fomo in once the price is gonna reach again parabolic price levels and at the other side also be ready in case that we have a major correction maybe down to test here this 9k area that you're ready also to open up big long positions and also buy some more altcoins and bitcoin of course so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the likes here subscribe to the channel and also join my other channels on twitch and discord for example very important thank you again very much for all your support my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.